Hi, I'm Ramil Ali, and you're watching Fashion Forward. Ramiyal Ali is quickly becoming a celebrity favorite designer and has been named one of the world's most influential Arabs. Though he's now based in Dubai, Rami grew up in Syria and studied in the capital city of Damascus. It wasn't really a very clear vision that, you know, fashion design is the career that I'm aiming for. I always knew when I was young that I'm interested in the, you know, the appearance game, this uh, magic of, you know, the before and after a gown or a suit or a beautiful outfit. The effect of it on us, the effect of it on the others, how it changed the behavior. I was always very much mesmerized by the whole phenomenon. And until a later stage when I study visual communication and I explored the design in general, then it became very particular that fashion design is the career that I, I want to be. After exploring all the different aspects of fashion design through internships at major fashion houses between Damascus and Beirut, Rami moved to Dubai in the late 90s, where he continued his journey and eventually gained enough confidence to start his eponymous couture label in 2000. Over the years, the designer has really developed his own signature style. I'm always interested in anything that has a, a contrast, uh, something that plays in between two worlds. I always have the East and West in my designs something that looks very complicated and uh, these uh, architectural shapes and silhouette, but yet very delicate, very light, very fluid. Uh, you have something very rich, uh, intricate, and yet it feels very minimal. I, I like to play on that, uh, you know, swinging in between both worlds, and that's what uh, keeps me interested. And in everything Rami does, we also always find a connection to his Syrian roots. Syria has been and will always be the source of uh, inspiration. Uh, my, uh, all these memories, all my bank of visuals, all my references, uh, the architect, the craftsmanship, uh, the people, the heritage, the culture, the art, all of it has helped a lot to build my uh, creative character. Unlike some couturiers who frequently take their inspiration from a specific muse, Rami doesn't put his focus on any one single woman. I'm not quite faithful to one muse. Uh, I think it's keep on changing uh, through all the phases of our life. Probably there is a principle that you're faithful to, a certain uh, taste that you're faithful to, but today the woman, it, I think it's keep on changing. Uh, I am changing. You know, the woman that was inspiring me in, in my 20s is a bit different. Uh, she got, you know, more mature when she, when I hit my 30s, and she matured even more with me when I'm, you know, in my 40s. So the women that I've been designing to is is changing as well. This approach seems to be working very well for the designer, as his creations are loved around the world and have definitely begun getting noticed in Hollywood as well. It's definitely a very great push to any new designer at his uh, at the beginning of his career. And I was lucky at the beginning of the career that I worked with the really strong names, that they have beautiful fashion portfolio and they gave such an amazing trust. It gave a great push to the brand at its beginning. The collaboration has really several phases. There is no uh, certain format for it. Sometimes the celebrity requests a certain look or a meeting to commission us for, you know, customizing something particular. Sometimes the stylist through, you know, going through all the work of all designers worldwide, he selects something in particular. And sometimes us also, we approach when we have a wish list of certain celebrity that we aspire and uh, look up to and uh, love to work uh, with and collaborate. We reach out to, you know, their managers or their stylists and uh, create this connection. And of course, we were curious to know who those famous ladies are on Rami's wish list. It's a very, very, very long, ambitious list. You know, most of the um, strong celebrity in the US in particular, because they have such a huge following, that they have a good fashion portfolio. Charlize Theroux, Natalie Portman, Jessica Chastain, uh, Taylor Swift, uh, Rony Mara. Um, all those names uh, still didn't get the chance. Actually, no, Jessica Chastain will. We did. Uh, most of them, I love the style and uh, I love the fashion portfolio that they built and uh, would love uh, to see my designs to be part of that. Well, ladies, if you're watching, you know who to call.
Though his designs may be loved by many already, Rami will never stop trying to reinvent himself and likes to keep himself on his toes. And that might just be the secret to his success. I think the most difficult critic to any designer is himself. I'm never 100% fully satisfied with, uh, with whatever I do. I'm definitely uh, grateful to you know, the result that me and my team achieve, but I always think that there is still something better, something more interesting, something more original to do. Being open-minded, training your eye to see all the time, training your subconscious, not just sub uh, your conscious, you know, to pick up visuals and references all the time helps a lot creating this huge bank that comes and becomes, you know, under your control, whatever it's requested.